Hi dear friends, today I will connect a Yokogawa overpressure sensor, the model YJX530, which is designed to measure the pressure of a liquid, steam or gas. You can see that it is mounted directly on the pipe, that is, it has direct contact with the measured medium, and subsequently this sensor will be covered from above with a thermal cover. The device stands on such a stainless steel tube leg and the first thing you need to turn this sensor so that the display is turned towards the operator. It's important that the readings of the device are easily read. You need to unscrew two small hexagonal bolts and this sensor can rotate 180 degrees. And now I carefully turn it so that the display looks at the potential operator. Then of course you need to tighten these bolts back. A plug is installed on one side of the device. On the other side a cable gland is installed which was included in the kit. The cable entry is designed to connect an armor cable. A strong armored ca uh, shielded cable with a cross section on 1 square millimeters will come from that tray over there. Here I have already drilled a hole with a special crown with a diameter of 20 millimeters and the cable will pass through this coupling. This gasket is not needed here, I will put it away and it will come in handy elsewhere. And now I am going to put an adapter and pull a cable through it. I leave a small supply of cable in the tray. This is done so that the device can change its position in space. I have already removed the terminal block cover. No surprises are expected here. Terminal A are for diagnostics. I measured and cut the cable and leave about 90 mm for cutting. The connection diagram is applied on the back of the lid in the factory way and there should be no difficulties with an understanding here. Here you see a two core shielded cable, aluminized foil and a separated conductor for functional grounding. I will bite it off because it is not used here and does not connect anywhere. And in the conductor the red wire is a plus and the black wire is a minus. You don't even have to look at the diagram to know this. I have already started the cable through the cable gland, twisted it and left small tails that need to be cut and connected to the terminal block of the device. There is no need to leave long tails as long as everything fits inside, because the terminal block is too tight. The tips here are best suited for the four type. I have already installed and compressed it, put on the cambrics, siding them by hand with a marker. At the end of the work, don't forget to protect the device from external contamination, for example from paint when painting works are carried out. Dust and dirt also be deposited on the device. That's how this video turned out. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye.